Welcome back to the channel, this is Stefan of the French Cooking Academy and today we're making a Brittany specialty called the fish or the seafood à l'armoricaine. The name armoricaine is very similar to the American sauce. So what exactly is the difference? They are very, very similar and yet today I'm going to explain the little things that makes all the difference. L'armorique, first of all, is the old name that used to be used to define who identified Brittany. So when we say fish or seafood à l'armoricaine, it simply means fish or seafood Brittany style. The flavors are exactly the same as what you will find in a, in, in a sauce américaine, but this recipe is really actually taking a shortcut. So with this recipe, you can actually use anything. You can use white fish, mussels, uh, crabs, you can use prawns. And instead of having to make an American sauce, the little difference, or what makes all the difference, is this here. This is a brown or crayfish bisque. The bisque is a type of creamy thick soup that you find in French cooking. And that is also a base. And that has the taste of the American sauce. And it is what is being used in that dish to accelerate the whole process. So instead of having the whole true American, what you do, use some basic ingredients, and you can just fry your fish. The crab, by the way, is optional. That's just me. But you can just use fish, a bit of alcohol, and you pour that bisque over with a little bit of uh, water, a bit of tomato, and you recreate a kind of a lookalike of the American in no time. And I believe, maybe I'm wrong, but I truly believe that this is the big difference. The dish à l'armoricaine is simply a faster way to create something that tastes almost the same as the American sauce version. And that's what I'm going to be showing you today. This is the mise en place. You'll find all the details, of course, on the recipe link in the video description. And let me tell you that even though you see there's lots of things on here, you'll be surprised to see how easy it is to make such a delicious dish. So I'm using crabs here. Uh, they are blue swimmer crabs, what you, what you can see on here. Uh, typically found in the Indian Ocean, South Australia, or even in the warmer part, but you can use any uh, small crabs in France. We use also the etri, the green uh, kind of little crabs, uh, you know, all the cheap crabs, you can use these. You can use browns if you're not of crayfish, but it's optional. I'm just using these because they were at my fishmonger. And, you know, it's a great little thing to have. So I'm going to wait for here. I've got at least a good two tablespoons of olive oil. And when it's smoking hot, we're going to color the crab first. Whoa, it's going. So I'm going to... Take my crab in there, oh, not overcrowd the pan, and we're going to sizzle this, make sure we get a nice reddish color. You get to love crabs. I love that they change color, you know, they go to that standard kind of blue and they go red. What a magnificent transformation. But you get the idea, so we're going to spend a few minutes pre-cooking our crabs in there. Give them some nice coloring and that's plenty of flavor. I love to use crabs because they're really powerful in flavor. They pack the punch. All right, so second batch is done. What I'm going to do now? What do you think? Well, the American sauce, usually you have a bit of a flambé. So what are we going to do? We're going to take, we we'll put some fire in the kitchen. The exhaust fan is, is off. And we're going to flambé a little bit the crabs. That's a big flame there. It will reside, it will reside, don't worry. So it's scary when you do a flambe, but that's it. My crabbies are ready. I'm gonna reserve them in a bowl. Okay, up. As soon as I am done, I'm gonna add my shallots. And this is like the typical uh, classic mirepoix. Huh? We got some carrots. And we're gonna spend, raise the heat, two minutes. Uh, we've got all the crabby flavors in here. And usually what do we do in French cooking? We're deglazing with wine, so white wine. Up, a dry white. If there's pieces of crabs like here, you remove them, of course. And we're just going to reduce until almost dry to remove the acidity. Almost dry, like the American. What are we going to do? We're going to add some tomato paste for the color that we're going to cook here for just 30 seconds or so to reduce the acidity. Same as usual, same techniques always in French cooking. Same techniques, always the same. So that's enough. I'm going to add a bit of thyme, a bay leaf. We're gonna add a little bit of garlic in here. Okay, mix the whole lot. And of course, fresh tomatoes. If they are in season, when they are not, you use chopped whole peeled tomatoes. And we're gonna mix the whole lot. 
I can tell you the smell of the cognac, the wine, the crabs. It's already uh, really nice. And now to finish the grand finale, we're going to be adding the bisque. The bisque is very, very concentrated. I've got like half a liter, but I'm going to use a little bit here. You can see it's like a sauce American. It is already pre thickened You may need to dilute it with a, li a little bit of water. And all what we're going to do is kind of recreate almost like an instant uh, American sauce, okay? So you see that very thick kind of paste like? Now let me add some water. You can use wine if you want, but the wine can add some extra acidity. Now the water is a bit up to you. Um, be, be careful, don't boot too much, too little, but we need to cook other things uh, afterwards. But it's just to give you an idea, because the best news I'm going to give you here is that that's it. We are pretty much done. This is the lookalike or the fast home version of the American sauce, which is sometimes I would like to compare this to, you know, the things we've done in our book that's about to come out. That's the kind of spirit of what we're doing to take things that are hard and make them, you know, fast without sacrificing taste and tradition and techniques at all. Look at this. Beautiful. So our base is done. I'm going to use all the bisque uh, that I've got in here. So this is a brown bisque and you can have a crayfish uh, bisque. And we're going to add water just to dilute enough because what I'm going to do, I still want to get some nice flavor. So I'm going to return my crab slowly in there, you know, to start with, to give some boost of flavor, some, some cloves in here. And I'm going to leave this to cook gently and reduce before we add the fish and I've got mussels as well. Okay, so you see the crab just playing a role of, you know, flavoring the whole thing and you got the nice pieces on here. All right, so I'm going to spend here, may add a little bit more water, maybe spend a similar like good 10 minutes at least to let infuse the whole thing here. We want plenty of taste. Almost forgot, of course, salt and pepper. We are done. Look at the result. This is what we call the Armorican style, which is the fast track. It's not the mother sauce, but would you know that this is not an American sauce? If someone asks you, it would be hard to make the difference and there's good crabs. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just keep the half crabs. I'm going to reserve them because they're kind of easy to eat and I've crushed uh, the legs here to raise the flavor and I'm going to discard those because there's a pistachio of seafood sometimes in there, you know, and it's like so hard. So I'm going to keep the noble piece. Okay, and then what I'm going to do with the rest is to filter that, that sauce. I'm going to turn my heat off for now. And that is my, my base ready. We're going to then use this base to cook the noble pieces, which are going to be the fish and the mussels. Okay, so let me take everything out. I'm going to filter, I'm going to clean my pan and put it back, and then we'll continue and I'll show you exactly what the last step is. And here we are, look at this. We've got our base. I'm going to turn my heat back on medium. Um, medium something we're gonna warm up which is now an improved bisque huh? and we've got all the flavors and I've got on the side here my fish that has been seasoned with salt and pepper and I've got mussels now you can use pretty much anything you want in here but again the little touch for the Britannic uh, style of, of cooking is cream so what we're gonna do we're gonna add well how much I'm gonna start with two generous tablespoon of cream Okay, and bring this to a simmer and get that lovely color. Just love cream. I mean, for me, cream is everything. The cream is now in. I'm going to add a touch of heat with, usually it's cayenne pepper, but I'm using espelette pepper from the Basque Country because I think it's just better. And usually you have to use a bitter orange peel. I don't have any, so I'm going to use noyer pra, which is the white vermouth that is made with orange, a bitter orange, so not too much actually. Just to add a touch, I'm going to put this back up. And that's it. Now stir the whole lot and wait for that simmer. And when that is done, you're going to have your base that is now ready. So let's imagine you're at home, you got guests, you want to make a specialty from Brittany, you don't want to spend hours in the kitchen, you're going to create this very fast, 15 minutes or something, maybe 20 maximum, and you are done. You can have your fish and your mussel ready, and the rest takes what, 6 to 10 minutes to cook. So it's a perfect trick to have. You leave this on the side. When you're ready, boom, you put the fish, the mussel, and you serve. That's the magic of it. My sauce is simmering. I'm going to now add the mussels that are about how to cook, and I'm going to have to put a lid on 
to steam them. They usually take six minutes only to get open, so it's fine. Up, and that's gonna boost the flavor again. Perfect, lid on, just a few minutes. Alrighty, mighty, hopla. Nice and open, all done. So the mussel are gonna join the crab on the side and then I'm gonna put the fish and we're gonna be done. So for the last touch, you really reduce the heat because you don't want to like overcook the fish too much and depending on how thick it is, it's gonna cook differently. But basically, you put your fish, you leave it to cook and just before it's cooked, we're gonna add back the mussels and everything and bring that to the table. All done, so very important, you see, eh? The fish, it's not like this big boil like I had before with the mussels. And now that's it. I'm gonna put everything back just to warm up everything in here. And as soon as it's warm, we're gonna be serving. That's an empty one. I'm gonna put some of the crab back. But you got the idea. So just before I put the lid on, I like to say that this is pretty much the answer to the bouillabaisse you have in the south of France, in Brittany. And this is seafood or fish à l'armoricaine. My version here, fish, crab and mussel. Let's have a Wow, that's like a bouillabaisse. It's got a beautiful fish base here uh, with the bisque, the crab, the mussels, and the fish. It's, and it's perfectly rounded, but that touch of cream really make it silky. And you got the touch of heat with the espelette pepper that I absolutely love. So when this is totally cooked, I'm gonna transfer this to a nice platter and do a nice decoration with some parsley, the crabs and everything, and show you how it's presented, and I will tell you exactly how to eat it, how to serve it, and that's all the things. Yes. This is my seafood à l'armoricaine, which, uh, you know, when you look at it, you're gonna think, oh my God, this is a bouillabaisse. And in fact, this is Brittany's answer to the south of France bouillabaisse. There's always a kind of a rivalry, and I like this, because you know what? People think that the bouillabaisse is the end to it all, you know, but there's more in French cooking than just the classic that you keep on seeing and hearing on websites. And that's a typical example. Seafood or fish à l'armoricaine is different. It looks similar, but it is a base of a bisque that you use there, so it's more like crabby, kind of crayfish-like taste. And you can use anything that you want. Using the technique of the American sauce, with a bisque, which is kind of a, a soup base you can, you can get in all the shops that are very easy to get, allows you to make that dish in a breeze and you can vary the flavor, you can vary the fish, you can use other things and whatever you want. Highly recommend it. And join me again next week for another French cooking video. Any question, as always, comment section below. Take care all. Bye.